Hello, this is Mr. Buffington. Today we're going to be graphing systems of linear inequalities. Given what we've learned so far, that'll be the only way that we have to actually solve systems of linear inequalities, and you'll see why in just a second. Before you get started with this, you'll need to know how to graph linear equations. We'll have a brief review about it, but that's not where we need to do that to be able to solve these systems. And you also need to know how to graph linear inequalities. All right, first off, what is a system? With lines, we talked about the place where the lines cross is the solution for the system. It's the one solution that actually is a point on both lines. With a system of linear inequalities, you're looking at the point where both inequalities cross. So here's the example of a graph of a linear inequality. And here's another graph of a linear inequality. So the solution then, if I put these two on top of each other there, the solution is where you have this purple section. It's a solution to both our red inequality and also our blue inequality. All right, so it's this, the shaded section that's a solution for both linear inequalities. That's the big picture of what a system of linear inequalities looks like. Let's go ahead and solve one. So we're asked to solve y is greater than 3x plus 2, and y is less than or equal to negative 2x minus 3. To do that, first we're going to graph one of our inequalities, and then we're going to, I'm going to clear the board, and then we'll graph the other one. And then we'll put what we make together. So first off, we're going to graph y is greater than 3x plus 2. We know that the point 2 is our y-intercept, because this is in slope-intercept form. 2 is our y-intercept, and our slope is 3. That means we go up 3 and over 1. Our rise is 3, our run is 1. All right? So that line's off by just a little bit, but that's the idea of where this line is. So that's where the line y equals 3x plus 2 would go. Now we need to remember that this is an inequality. We have to graph, first off, change our line because this is a greater than symbol. That means the equation is, or the solution is not this line. So we have to change it to being a dotted line. And then we have to, because it's y is greater than, we have to highlight everything where the y value is greater than this line. All right? In other words, everything above the line. So here is the graph of y is greater than 3x plus 2. That's the first inequality. Now we're going to clear the graph, graph the second one. Y is less than or equal to negative 2 minus 3. We know that our y-intercept is negative 3, so that's right there. That's where it crosses the y-axis. And our slope is negative 2. In other words, we go down 2 for every 1 we go over. All right, our slope is negative 2 over 1. So we have these two points now. We can go ahead and graph that line, given our rise and our run and our y-intercept. Now, to make this into the graph of that linear inequality, we have to highlight everything that is less than, remember y is less than or equal to that line. So because it's less than or equal to, the line will remain solid, and we'll highlight everything below the line. So there's the solution for our second inequality. I've drawn it in red. So the solution for our first inequality was this. The solution for our second inequality is that. And we could quickly go back and forth between the two and try and see now where do they cross. The parts that cross are the solutions for our system. But instead, I'm just going to combine them together and shade it in purple where the blue and red would cross. All right? So the solution to this system is the purple shaded section. This is the section that would be a solution for both inequalities. And if you'd like to test this, you could pick any point in this shaded purple area, take a point there, and that would give you your x and y coordinate, like this one, for example, negative 1, 2, 3, 4, negative 5, 0, for example. Plug that into both inequalities and solve, and you'd be able to check and see if that point is truly 
a solution for this system of linear inequalities.